اهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقه جديده من اثار بوم النهارده الحلقه غير عاديه معانا نجم غير عادي ومعانا لاعب مميز جدا معانا تيمو بال لاعب كبير جدا ولاعب اسطوره and it just gets better and better. Timo Bull with the most quality backhands we've seen and the pressure comes back from Harimoto time and time again. The focus, this could go down in one of the all-time classics for Timo Bull. We see shots like this against Ma Long. Our next question, actually, it's about your famous trick shot, about uh, switching the racket between left and hand. Um, um, left and hand um, hands, <laughs> yeah. and um, the question is that: Do you remember when was the first time you made it during a match? I think one of the first times was against uh, Chuan Chi. Chuan Chi won. I think this was German one. Open. Of, this was one of the first times. Yeah. I was starting to move worse in that period, <laughs> <laughs> and it continued. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. sometimes you do it just for fun in, yeah, the, in the practice yeah. because you cannot catch it yeah. anyhow. Yeah. But it's <laughs> becoming one of my signature yes, shots. Yes, it's I true. Mean, yes. I use it quite often now. Yes. Today I, I played it twice in the <laughs> practice. And yeah, I, I have a high percentage of yes. hitting the, the shots. Yeah. So, but it, I'm not practicing it. Yes. So yes. It's just an emergency shot. Yes. I, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is true. And also, I must feel that um, it's always uh, remarkable why you do it mostly against Schwann. Like this one in German Open, I think it was uh, many years ago. And you did one as well against Schwann in T2, which yeah. was also remarkable was and very high views. Uh, this was a <laughs> so this was I a think I feel a little bit uh, a pity for uh, Schwann that it always happened against him. That's yeah. always very nice matches. Uh, maybe it's because of the style of him, because he has a yeah. good backhand. Of course. Pushing me to the deep forehand. Yes, and then returning you back. And I'm far away <laughs> and then I need to play with the right hand. Yeah. This is true. Uh, my next question is about the coaches. Of course, you have, uh, during your long career, you have trained with many coaches in clubs and national team. And um, my question is that, how do you think the relation between coach and player should be? It depends on the coach and about the player, about their, their behaviors. I mean, everyone is different. I mean, you have to treat every player in a different way because, yeah. I mean, I was, when I was younger, a bit lazier, yeah. but also sensitive. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't be too hard yeah. to me, yeah. otherwise I would lose maybe the fun to play, yes. but on the other hand, he needed to push me a little bit more than the others. Yeah. So it was, a, it was hard to find, to find the right balance yeah. and, and that's how you yeah, need to find the right way with every single player. Yeah. So, so yeah, I had different coaches yeah. and but everyone was yeah helpful in a different in way. Different way. And during the matches, especially during the when you are in tournaments and of course you are playing further in the tournament in an important match, 
uh, do you feel the differences between coaches? Some coaches are uh, they have a good feeling what to say and when to say it, and when there you can feel the difference of the quality a bit, little bit of the coach. Yeah, yeah. they tell you. Yeah, the right things. Yes. Or sometimes they think totally different to yeah. to yourself. Yeah. Can be sometimes helpful, but yeah. sometimes not. <laughs> yeah, of course. So this has to yeah, fit together. Yeah. And but in the end, you you cannot blame it on the coach because yeah. they just try to help of you. Of course, the intention. And is especially when you are young, yeah. you get the feeling ah. Uh, it was the problem of the coach, yeah. and, and you have to tell yourself yeah. or realize yourself yeah. that yeah. that is always your own yeah. fault, of course, not the, the fault of your yeah. coach. He's yeah. just trying to give to some help. advice and try to help. Yeah. But in the end, you need to take the decisions. Of course, yes, yeah. And there is one opinion said. Uh, I mean, when you are in the match during the match and you come to the coach. Some of the coaches they like to give a lot of technical advices, like to change your technique or to do something special with your technique. And some other coaches they think it's okay, already it's too late, you are in the match. So what you have, you have it, and what you haven't, you haven't. So you just, they just try to give you an advice which is according what you have right now, what is your capacity right now. Mm -hmm. Do you, which one do you think it's nearer to the best? I think I would be a coach like trying to help also in a technical way during the game. Okay. Especially if you continue to make the same faults yeah. and not only tactics, yeah. also technical Technical stuff. side, yeah. Good. The last question we have today is that many players they didn't know already that you have visited Egypt before. And um, so we want to know uh, when did you visit Egypt and how many times? I've been there twice. Okay. Just for vacation. Yeah. I was at the Red Sea, of course. Okay. And it was so beautiful. Because <laughs> I'm a diver. Really? And yeah, the Red Sea is really beautiful. Yeah. With all the corals and the fishes. Yes. Some sharks. <laughs> <laughs> I love sharks. <laughs> Yeah, and it, it's been a while. Yeah, I think it was 2004 and 2006. Okay, so last time so was 2006. A long time ago, yeah. but hopefully I can can visit this country. Of again. course, of course, you are always welcome. And um, do you, if you have uh, one destination, not only in Egypt, but I mean Egypt or Arab or Africa, do you have it in your list? Um, would you choose, there is one place that you would love to visit in the future, in this region? I mean, especially uh, I visited at that time twice Soma Bay. Yeah. And it was really beautiful. I yeah. mean, it was not overcrowded yeah. with tourists. Yeah. But, yeah, the sea was really beautiful. Yeah. And that's what I like. Yeah. A little bit, yeah, calm down yeah. and with some snorkeling or yeah. diving yeah. and relax. Yeah, I would be very happy that next time you also would visit Alexandria because it's really one of the most beautiful cities in Egypt and you would enjoy so much also not only the touristic places but you would also enjoy more the, um, our traditions and more the local places. So next time you are there, I think we should organize something like this for okay. you. Yeah, because why not? Thank you, Timo, so much for being with us today. It was a very, very nice time and very, I hope, um, I, I am personally has got many things of this talk. <laughs> and uh, I also um, hope that the other players and the young coaches in Egypt and our regions will uh, get also many informations today. Timo is, has a small gift for you guys. He has one signed plate oh, here. Wow. <laughs> Timo Ball ALC. Yes. The, the classic Timo Ball. <laughs> the play we play. Yes, and uh, one shirt as well. Okay. So, thank you.
Thank you, Timo, so much for being with us today. No it was a pleasure. And we wish you all the best in Budapest and the rest of your competitions. Hopefully I won't play you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not too. Thank Ciao. you, guys. Shukran gidan al halak gida. Wa sanunan, inshaAllah, al halak gaya. Ma'asar, boom. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.